Hello everyone and welcome to Pentagon. Today's problem is another geometry problem and this time we're greeted with a rather complex diagram. We're given that the measure of angle ABC is 40 degrees. AB is a diameter of circle O and BC is a diameter of circle Q. We need to find the measure of angle DBE. Please pause the video here if you'd like to try and solve this yourself. Alright, now to solve this problem, we need to make use of a helpful little theorem, which I'll pull up here. If two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite those sides are also congruent. You'll see why we'll need this theorem in a bit. But for now, let's try to establish some mathematical relations in this diagram. Let's take the second given first. AB is a diameter of circle O. Now, circle O is the smaller circle with center O, which I'm labeling in green. Right. Now, if AB is a diameter of circle O, well, we can say that OA and OB are radii of the circle. And since all radii of a given circle are congruent, we can say that OA is congruent to OB. But is there another radius of circle O in this diagram? That's right, it's OE. We can say it's also a radius and therefore is also congruent to OA and OB. Well, now... Look what we have. If we look at triangle OBE, it's a triangle where two of its sides, specifically OB and OE, are congruent. Well, this is where our theorem can come into play. Our triangle is OBE. The two sides congruent are OB and OE, which means the angles opposite OB and OE must be congruent. And those angles are OBE, which is opposite OE, and OEB, which is opposite OB. So we can say that angle OBE is congruent to angle OEB. Now let's label some things in this diagram. Let's call angle QBE, this tiny sliver of an angle, let's call that Y. Right, now we know that angle OBE is made up of two angles, angle OBQ and QBE. And since OBQ measures 40 degrees and QBE measures Y degrees, well, we can say that the measure of angle OBE is 40 plus Y. And since OBE is congruent to OEB, we can also say that the measure of angle OEB is 40 plus Y. All right. Now let's try to do the same with the third given using the other circle. The third given says BC is a diameter of circle Q and circle Q is the larger circle with center Q, which I'm labeling in blue. And if BC is a diameter of circle Q, well then we can say that QB and QC are radii of circle Q, which means QB and QC are both congruent. So we can say QB is congruent to QC. And is there another radius of circle Q? Yes, it's QD. And since it's also a radius of circle Q, we can say it's congruent to QB and QC. Right. And once again, look what we have. 
we have a triangle, QBD, where two of its sides, specifically QB and QD, are congruent. And let's use our theorem once again then. Our two sides that are congruent are QB and QD, which means the angles opposite them, this time it's QDB and QBD, are going to be congruent. So let's write that angle QBD is going to be congruent to angle QDB. All right, let's label a few more angles. Let's call angle OBD over here. Let's call that Z. All right. Now, we know that angle QBD is composed of angle QBO and OBD. And since the measure of angle QBO is 40 degrees and OBD measures Z degrees, we can say that the measure of angle QBD is 40 plus Z. And once again, QBD is congruent to QDB. So the measure of angle QDB is also 40 plus Z. Well, what can we do with these pieces of information? Well, let's look closely. We need to find the measure of angle DBE. And what happens if we take triangle DBE? We have a triangle in which we know all the measures of the angles in terms of Y and Z. We said that OEB, which is this angle, we said that was 40 plus Y. And we said that QDB, which is this angle, well, that measures 40 plus Z. But what about angle DBE? Well, that's made up of angles OBD, QBO, and QBE. And each of those measures Z, 40, and Y, respectively. So we can say that this entire angle over here, which is the measure of angle DBE, is 40 plus Y plus Z. Now, another helpful little fact is that the sum of the angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So let's use this fact using our three angles and set, and set the uh, equation to 180. So we'll have the measure of DBE, which is 40 plus Y plus Z plus the measure of OB, sorry, OEB, which is 40 plus Y. And finally, plus the measure of QDB, which is 40 plus Z. And this is all equal to 180. If we simplify the left-hand side of the equation, we get 120 plus 2y plus 2z equals 180 degrees. When we subtract 120 from both sides, we get 2y plus 2z equals 60. And finally, when we divide both sides by 2, 
we get y plus z equals 30 degrees. Now, how do we find y and z? We actually don't have to. All we need to find is the measure of angle DBE. And we said the measure of angle DBE is 40 plus y plus z. And we know that y plus z is 30 from what we just derived here. So we can substitute in 30 into this expression and get that the measure of angle DBE is 40 plus 30, which simplifies to 70 degrees. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you all, and I will see you in the next video.